No, I, I think both teams, uh, uh, both leagues now play pretty good defense. Uh, KVC in the central main area has always played pretty good defense. I think uh, with Bangor and Old Town, you've got two of the premier teams. They may be a little bit more parity in the uh, KVC at this time. But uh, year in and year out, uh, there's going to be some nice matchups. Usually ends up just about even in terms of the number of teams representing each conference in the tournament. Coney in the red. They open the game with control of the ball. With it out deep is Bayou from the left side. And this is a long one. And Mark Reed away with it for Bangor. Reed, what a great tournament he had last year. This senior now will go to Liberty College and play college basketball next year. Ryan Bradford with it. Chris Pickering looks inside. They'll get tended on a turnaround. It's important for Bangor, uh, for Tennant to get out strong for him, because being ill and if they can get some good minutes out, out of him, it's going to be tough for Coney. John Tennant did not play in the Old Town win over Bangor last week. Jakes misses deep, and it's away to John Tennant. Tennant's also the quarterback on the Bangor football team, or was, we should say. He's a senior, done with his football career, looking to extend his basketball career. Pickering, 4 nothing Bangor. The Rams out quick, and they hit their first two shots. That's the Bangor Rams. Chris Pickering's a senior at six foot two. Brad Veyu, also a senior, brings it up for Coney. Veyu, top of the key. Now Todd Parmerlow, back to Veyu. The free throw line, had Stewart down low, loose ball off the backboard. That won't drop for a good one on the follow. No good by Jakes, knocked around. An attempted save by Easton. It's out of bounds though, off Bangor. Bangor opening up in a 2-3 zone. They've played that at times this year, and I know they gave Waterville a lot of problems with it with their home game in Bangor. 4 nothing, Bangor early on. Stewart goes inside off the glass, and Coney is on the board. Ryan Goodwin with the first basket of the game. Coney from Augusta. Mark Reed goes to Ryan Bradford. Down low for Tennant. He'll work on Palmer low. There it go. And the defensive board is away to Jakes. Brad Veyu pushes it up in the lane. Draws some pressure. Has it knocked away by Tennant. Loose at the top of the game. Here's a break. Dean Easton. 6-2 Bangor. Knocked away. Reed got a hand on it. Ryan Goodwin for Coney to Stewart. Bumped by Heaston, gets free in the lane. Tough shot, won't go. The rebound to Reed. Mark Reed, he'll push it. On the left side, they're breaking. Bradford hits. 8-2, Bangor on top, and Gary Veyu wants a timeout. That Bangor enthusiasm we saw so much last year, and there it is again. Back in 30 seconds. A2, Coach Dick Meter. Bangor well, Brad Bailey's uh, Bayou is making penetration, but the problem is it's against the zone, and it's tough to do it from the perimeter, uh, from the point position, and it created the turnover. Then you get the layup uh, by Dean Heaston. Smart play by John Tennant too. He couldn't really grab the ball; he just tipped it ahead, and Heaston yep. ran it down. Bonnet for Coney to uh, make a few passes here and uh, change sides of the court against that zone. Jakes will go down low. Good one there in the lane, and it knocked away, and Pickering's away with it for Bangor. Reed, a long lead, he's been out of bounds. Reed likes to make that long pass, Coach. Uh, he's always looking up. He's fundamentally sound, so he's, if his guy's open, he's going to try to get it to him. Veyu goes to Parmer low, back to Veyu, and they'll swing it around. Jakes inside for Goodwin on the baseline. He'll score. Tough basket by Ryan Goodwin. Ryan Goodwin's got good skills inside. He's got uh, strong legs, jumps very well, and physically strong enough to create some space for himself. He leads Coney in scoring with an average of 20.1 points a game. We've got our first foul of the game. It'll be called on Coney's Todd Parmerlow. Another look. As you can see, they reverse sides of the ball, and uh, Goodwin has his man pinned to the inside and just a, does a nice job of facing and then uh, going up strong with the, uh, the roll. Bangor inbounds to Reed, top of the key. Eight to four, Bangor on top of Coney. Inside for Tennant, a two on one. He will shoot the score. Ah, he thought 
He had Easton free on the other side, but took it up, and a tough shot and put by John Tennant. 10 4 Bangor. First quarter action. Goodwin swings it to Jakes. Nail hit. That's a three pointer for Jakes. Fun it for Coney to um, make a few of the outside shots. They've got to make sure they reverse the ball to do that. But then that will open up for Goodwin. Bangor leads it three. Bradford's pass is picked off by Ryan Goodwin. Knocked away from behind. A foul will be called on Chris Pickering. 10 to 7 the score. Bangor on top. John Tennant poses a lot of problems for teams because of his size. He will play guard, then he'll take the guard in and post him up. And the hel uh, help came over, but he did a nice job of just avoiding it. John Tennant, senior at six foot three. Good one. Cuts the Bangor lead to two. Four straight here for the Rams from Coney. And Goodwin will fire again. Stays at 10-8. The tip won't go. Loose ball away to Tennant. Tennant will push it to the top of the key. Now he slows down. Bangor will set up against the Coney man-to-man. -man. Bradford on the right side. Easton can't save it. He stepped on the sideline. Coney ball with a chance to tie. Josh Stewart will make the inbound pass in the backcourt. No pressure by Bangor coach for back in the zone defense. Travis Jakes to the top for Bayou. Jakes hit a three-pointer earlier. This time he goes inside. Goodwin will score. We're tied at 10. Oh, good time out by Gary Bayou, coach. So you got things turned around. We're back even. It was. It was showing more patience, working the ball to the baseline. Also, that three-pointer by Jakes helped open it up a little bit, too. Reed, Lane off the back of the rim. No good. Good follow by Ryan Bradford. Brings it out to Reed. Bradford hit the board hard. Reed, Pickering now. Guarded by Goodwin. John Tennant takes over. Tennant will move on Palmer low. He's stopped. Pickering. Tennant to the basket. He'll score. A give and go. And John Tennant with six points early makes it 12-10 Bangor. The Coney Rams, number seven in this tournament at 12 and 6. They've got the ball. Brad Bayou with it up high. Travis Jakes, 6'2", senior. Moves it back across to Bayou. Bayou to the free throw line. Back out to Jakes. He'll fire again. Another three. And it's 13-12. Coney with the lead on the strength of two three-pointers by senior Travis Jakes. Ryan Bradford guarded by Stewart. Easton drives baseline left side. It's out of bounds. Coney ball. And a nice inside cut by Tennant to the basket. Again, moving without the ball, makes the pass, then makes the, the step inside and has the free lane to the hoop. Good catch by Brad Bayou at the top of the key. Coney with a one-point lead at 13-12. We'll have a foul called on Dean Easton. That'll be his first. 2.24 remaining in the first quarter. It's 13-12. Coney with the lead over Bangor. It'll be inbounded by Travis Jakes. Bayou sets it up. Bayou backs up. He'll fire a three off the back rim. No good. Deep rebound. Jakes pokes it out near midcourt. It's run down by Parmelo. Jakes gets it back. Inside for Goodwin. Knocked out of bounds. Good hands there by Ryan Bradford. Still Coney ball. Coney inbound on its offensive baseline. Up high for Bayou. Into the corner, blocked by Reed. Reed came out and blocked the shot from the corner. Parmerlo tried it. Goodwin goes baseline. He's bothered by Tennant. It's cleared away by Bradford. And Reed will move it up. Two minutes to go, first quarter. Bangor down by one. Reed is double teamed at the top of the key. And he'll get tied up. He's closely guarded for five seconds, and that's a turnover. Good defensive play by the Coney guards of just tying him up there and not letting him out of that trap situation. Coney's been aggressive with that man-to-man -man defense coach, and it's working for them. Yeah, they're, play they're playing well, uh, very well. Bayou to Jakes. Another three. He's got it. Three first quarter three-pointers for Travis Jakes. It's 16-12, Coney. And that is going a long way to help him. Bangor wants timeout. They're down by four. We'll be back to the Bangor Auditorium in 30 seconds.
16-12, Coney leads Bangor. And Jakes has nine points, coach. Travis Jakes is really lighting it up early here, and that's a key for Coney to give those inside players a size inside some room to operate with. And uh, between uh, Jakes and uh, Goodwin, you've got uh, the 16 points. Nine Coney for Jakes, is, seven for Goodwin. Coney has outscored them 14-4 uh, since their timeout. Here's Tennant for Bangor. He leads the Rams with six. Mark Reed has yet to score. He'll back up and fire from 15, front rims it. And Ryan Goodwin clears for Coney. Hands it off to Bayou, and he'll walk it up. 1.15 to go, first quarter. Bangor switched on defense, coach. Yeah, they're in a man-to-man -man right now. Bradford guarding Goodwin, free throw line. Palmer low, inside, poked away, a foul will be called. Looks like Ryan Bradford, 6'5", senior, will be called. He will, that's two on Ryan Bradford. You don't want Bradford to get into foul trouble because he's that consistent outside shooter. And with 104 to go in the quarter, Roger Reed will go to his bench for the first time and bring in Nat Clark to avoid risking the third foul on Ryan Bradford in this first quarter. Into Ryan Goodwin. Spins in the lane, moves, shoots over Clark. Off the rim, no good. John tended away with it for Bangor. Coney 16, Bangor 12. Final minute of the first quarter. Easton. Top of the key, Pickering almost stolen. Pickering gets it, fires, misses, rebound. Cleared by Jakes. Knocked away out the top of the key. Pickering gets it back for Tennant. 40 seconds to go, first quarter. Bangor trails Coney by four. In the lane. It's moved by Heaston to the corner for Pickering. He's quickly guarded by Ryan Goodwin. Loops it in for Clark. He'll turn around and fire a two strong. Heaston the ball. It'll go and he got fouled. Dean Heaston. We'll go to the free throw line, looking to complete the three-point play. It all started making the, the steal off that uh, rebound attempt. And once you get the ball inside, and then Nat Clark misses the little one, turnaround, and Easton comes up with a big offensive board on the opposite side. Fouls on Jakes is first. 16-14 now. Bangor trailing Coney by two with 26 seconds to go in the first quarter. Easton cuts the lead to one. John Russell into the game for Coney, number 34. He's six foot eight. Bayou with it, walks it up against Reed. Reed will stop him near midcourt. Now Jakes will drive him away, dishes off for Russell. He'll score. So Russell makes his presence felt immediately. Six seconds to go in the quarter. Coney by three, 18 15. Reed behind the back. Settles for the fires. He got fouled. Reed taking the shot at the buzzer. He got slapped on the arm by Brad Bayou. And we'll wait right here as Mark Reed will shoot two. You could hear it up here, Coach. Yeah, in fact, I think he's going to get three. I think That's he right, was outside Reed, so right. the uh, exactly line. Right. So Mark Reed, all eyes focused on him, will get three tries. He makes the first one, 18-16. And really a killer for Coney because you, you had a chance of going in uh, to that second quarter, three up. There's two, both down, 18-17. Reed can tie it. And you hate to foul jump shooters. Mark Reed, a fantastic shooter. Two for three, 18-17 after one. Back to the Bangor Auditorium in 60 seconds. Second quarter action. Bangor with the ball, trailing 18-17 to Coney. Tennant in the lane. Nice move. Couldn't score, though. The rebound away to Russell. John Russell up quickly for Goodwin. On the break. He'll lay it off the glass. Too strong. Tennant with the board. He's broken up. It's out of bounds. Bangor ball. Both teams are right after it, Coach, in this game. Bangor did a nice job getting back and uh, putting some pressure on uh, Goodwin as he was taking the layup. Again, he, he needed to go up a little bit uh, stronger on that. Clark tried to post up. Easton couldn't get it to him. Pickering will move it across to Tennant. Uh, low, Clark turns, fake shoot. He got hammered. Matt Clark will go to the free throw line. Maybe on Russell. There's heavy contact inside, and Russell will pick up his first foul. Tennant does a nice job getting the ball inside. And Nat Clark, who's uh, only a sophomore and is really going to be a great player, 
did a nice job with the up fake and stepping through and uh, putting, getting to the, to the foul call. Now Bangor's missed two free throws with a chance to tie. Clark will have another chance to even this game at 18. And he does. 7.28 to go, second quarter, 18 apiece. The winner will play Lawrence on Friday night. The Coney girls will play against Winslow in the game that is already set. That'll be on Thursday night. In the lane to Goodwin, he kicks it out for Jakes. A steal, top of the key, Easton with it. Coney gets back on defense, and Easton will bring it out. Tennant. John Tennant finds Clark. Clark Bates moves in, steps back, Pickering. Mark Reed in the lane, in traffic, up strong, he got fouled, and Mark Reed will go to the free throw line. For the first time, they've posted uh, Mark Reed inside, and was uh, really trying to get the ball inside to him on the block. Second foul quickly on John Russell. Into the game for Coney is John Gaysink. Number 32, he's a six foot tall junior. Here's Reed. Won't go. Reed has another try. 18 to 18 is our score. 6.55 to go in the second, in the second quarter. Reed fires, no good. Mark Reed, two for five from the line here. And this one, Brad Bayou. Contact with Reed, it'll go on Bayou. Mark Reed made a nice play of anticipating Brad going to his left and just uh, got both, bleep, uh, both feet planted so that the, you had the offensive foul. You watch Brad Bayou coming down and gives a little move to the inside. Mark uh, Reed anticipated that and had both feet planted. It was more a matter of maybe moving his upper body a little bit, but not his feet, huh? Yeah. 18 apiece, 6.46 to go, second quarter. Here's Reed. Bayou's there defensively. Reed stops on the left sideline, and now out to Clark. Hands it off to John Tennant. On the move, he'll kick it out. Easton will try a three. Got it. 21-18, Bangor as Dean Easton hits from the right side. Bayou for Coney. Bangor back in the lead. Josh Stewart to the baseline. He's bumped, and they'll call it on Nat Clark. Offensively, Bangor does a nice job in that they've got every player is a perimeter player and a post player, can execute both inside and outside. And defen defensively, in the last three or four minutes, they've done a nice job of keeping the ball away from Goodwin on the defensive end. Jason Eastman into the game for Coney, a 5'11 junior. Turnaround won't go for Gasick. Rebound poked away by Easton. Up to Reed. Reed to the baseline. He'll stop and bring it back out for Easton. Matt Clark, Reed inside, he's fouled. Foul will be called on Jason Eastman. He was playing defense on Reed, who posted up at the side of the lane. It's one adjustment Roger Reed has made during the uh, uh, during the period between the second, uh, first and second quarter was to bring Mark Reed into the low post area. And you got a one and one now, because that's the seventh team foul. 6.02 to go until halftime. It's Bangor 21, Coney 18. And senior guard Mark Reed. A little shoot, and he misses. Uncharacteristic of Mark Reed, he has missed four free throws in six tries. In fact, he's missed four in a row. If I were a betting person, I think I would want to bet on his next foul shot. <laughs> Stewart's a good one. He'll be called for traveling. Ryan Goodwin making the move to the basket from the top of the key, and he walked with it. Bangor gets it back up three. Reed will walk it up. It's guarded by Eastman. And off the bench with his assignment being number 44. Looped into Eastman, tough pass. He can't handle it, it's out of bounds. Bangor's trying to take advantage of any player that they feel they've got a mismatch on size-wise. And that time, uh, uh, try to put it down into low post against uh, Pomelo. Bangor likes to push it up for it too, Coach, and Coney's done a good job of limiting that, haven't they? They have. Todd Pomelo to the corner. Now there's contact in the lane. We'll get a foul. Check the call. 
It's going to be on Chris Pickering of Bangor. 5.22 to go in the second quarter with Bangor up by three. No shots yet for Coney. Bangor shoots the rest of the way in this half. Coney inbounds on the offensive baseline. It hit Pickering on the foot and rolls out again, so Coney will start over. Gary Veyu, the veteran Coney coach. You know him well, Dick, from yes. the Pine Tree Clinic in yes. Waterville. Does a lot of good work. Strong move, good one. There's contact. It'll go against Bangor. Mark Reed drew the foul. I'm sorry, I misread the official signal. It went against Goodwin. Reed again drawing a player control foul. Ryan's next step is, is once he gets into that lane area, is to explode up into the air rather than going horizontally. Bangor 21, Coney 18, 5 10 to go, second quarter. Chris Pickering, baseline now, Tennant pulls up, fires, that's no good. Tipped by Clark, that won't call the follow by Reed off. And in the rebounding action, a foul will be called. It'll be against Bangor, John Tennant. Will be called for the personal with 5.02 to go in the quarter. Bangor after it hard on the offensive board, coach. Matt Clark's done a nice job since he's come in, especially defensively. And then here with John Tennant taking that shot, baseline jump shot. Matt Clark keeps the ball alive off the board and giving Mark Reed a chance. Mark in that situation should probably should have brought it down where he had the uh, size advantage. First foul of the game on John Tennant. Tony trailing Bangor by three. They go inside. Goodwin up strong around the rim. Off no good. And Reed's got it for Bangor. Mark Reed whips it across to Chris Pickering. He'll pull up. And we've got a foul away from the play. Looks like we've got a double foul there. They cancel each other. Dean Heaston and Ryan Goodwin called for simultaneous fouls. Something you don't see often. A little bit of frustration on both parts, probably coming up the court. See it all the time in hockey, but very rare in basketball. Matching minors on the ice happen a lot. 21 to 18 is the score. Bangor leads Coney with four minutes and 36 seconds left in the second quarter. Tournament scoreboard coming up at halftime, and Tim Throckmorton will have other things too. Eastman sends it off on the left side to Todd Parmerlow. Eastman, guarded by Reed, finds Stewart in the lane. We'll have a foul called on Bangor. Matt Clark. Fouls are pounding here. That's three on Clark. Well, officials, you know, with what happened going up in the court, are going to be looking for a little bit of uh, contact inside and quick to call it. And that time, Matt Clark, uh, it was going the wrong way for him. Uh, he was hoping to be on offense that time, and the call would come. Bradford and Clark combined have been called for five fouls. So Rob Jarvis, number 52, the 6'6 junior, checks into the game as Roger Reed looks to avoid further foul trouble. Goodwin hits. It's the first point of the quarter for Kona. Comes with three minutes and 36 seconds gone in the quarter. Second one won't go. Reed again with the rebound to the top of the key. Reed makes a move on Eastman. Gets free, shoots, and hits. Classic Mark Reed move. 23-19, Bangor by four. Quarterfinal action. The winner will play Lawrence on Friday night. Good win. Ryan Goodwin goes to the basket as strongly as anybody I could think of in this yeah. tournament, Coach. He's got great legs and uh, has learned how to seal and makes that drop step and explodes to the basket. 23-21, Bangor by two. Get him out Inside for Tennant, got deflected. He recovers and goes out to Chris Pickering. Now Reed. Just over halfway through the, the second quarter. Approaching halftime, Reed. Stops, finds Pickering. Tony working hard on D. Heaston to the hoop, he'll score. Nice little feed inside from Chris Pickering. Nice curl move by, uh, by Easton, and obviously you gotta have the pass to finish it off. 25-21, Eastman to the hoop, he'll score. Jason Eastman, the 5'11 junior. 
Makes it 25, 23, Bangor. Great first half. Mark Reed. Two more for him. Reed's finding the range here in the second quarter. And Bangor's back up by four. Tony's help defense has got to come into play a little bit more in that situation. It's tough enough to handle him one-on-one, -on -one, but you've got to have some help when he goes by. Josh Stewart got bumped by Jarvis on his way to the basket. That'll be the first foul on Stewart. See, Reed's on, on the other side, and the players off the ball are going away from him rather than to trying to pick him up outside the lane where they can stop him and force the shot jumper rather than the layup. A lot easier for Eastman or any defender to get help to if they don't give Reed the baseline and send him back to the middle. Yeah. He is so quick and handles the ball so well he can get to the basket in a big hurry. Josh Stewart. Off the rim, no good. The rebound tipped around, battled for it. A foul will be called in the rebounding action. It'll go against Coney. John Gasick will be called for the foul. Six-foot junior. And we'll walk the length of the court and have free throws. For a team to win out of that seventh position against the number two club, they've got to make free throws. And Coney's struggling a little bit from the, from the foul line. 2.49 to go until halftime. Roger Reed, Jeff Ingles to his immediate left, former varsity coach at Herman. Reed, free throw is good. He's only going to miss so many in a row. He's uh, good shooters run streaks now. Second one won't go, knocked around and it's away to Coney. Brian Goodwin came down with it, 28-23. Bangor leads Coney. Jason Eastman calls a play, he'll work on Mark Reed. Now Stewart, to the baseline, right side. Pulls up, double team, kicks it for Goodwin. Goodwin dribbles, steps in, moves it back out, and Eastman will start it over. Bangor by five. Approaching halftime, Todd Palmerlow. Goodwin. Stewart pops free. He'll move in the lane. Bounce pass down low. Goodwin. There's contact. Foul will be called on Chris Pickering. Two on Pickering. Comes with two thirds. He's running a lot of uh, flex cuts. And this time uh, got some penetration off it and gave it to uh, gave it to Goodwin on the baseline. Ryan Goodwin. Average is over 20 points a game. Six foot five senior, it's in the air and that won't go and Tennant's got it for Bangor. Kip Killing into the game for the first time. Kip's a senior at five foot eight. Dribbling at the top of the key, his dad, the varsity coach at the University of Maine is here watching. Back TV, you can see him right behind Mark Reed, far part of your screen, sitting at the press table. Killing dribbles toward his father and then brings it out to Reed. 150 to go until halftime. Bangor in a double high delay game here. John Tennant to the left side. Gets doubled up, so he brings it back out to Keeling. And it's poked away from Keeling. A foul will be called on Stewart. Roger Reed went to Keeling because he wanted to set this up and, and get the good ball handler in there to kill off some time in the late part of the second quarter. Paid off, Keeling will go to the line. Coach's sons to, are good players, as we saw today with Darren Meter. Well, Darren struggled a little bit earlier. Rudy Keeling there in the blue jacket with the, the white sleeves, the varsity coach at the University of Maine. Son Kip misses on the ball. We get some contact, and a foul will be called against Josh Stewart. Darren's Waterville team came up short today against Lawrence, but a, a real good season for the team and for your son. They played uh, much better than expected uh, throughout the course of the year. Uh, everybody did, did a nice job, and Lawrence played exceptionally well today. They really came out and played great defense. And one guy in particular had a pretty good day <laughs> with the ball, too, huh? Yes. Aaron Harris is, uh, shows how he can shoot the ball. Easton hits from the free throw line. Fabulous performance by Harris this morning. The winner of this game will get the uh, chance to take on Lawrence in the semifinal on Friday night. Dean Easton, real solid career at Bangor. Misses Tennant on the fall, he scores. John Tennant exploded off the floor and came up with the ball. Great offensive rebound. 
just wanting it a little bit more than the next guy. He's an excellent athlete, and it showed there. Bangor by eight, their biggest lead. 115 to go, second quarter. Josh Stewart stopped in the lane, dishes down low. They'll come away to Farmer low. Now a three-pointer, Jake's off the rim, no good. The offensive board to Cliff Chase. Chase just in for Coney. Stewart makes a move, fires off the glass, too strong, John Tennant. Tennant leads the break, he'll take it to the basket and score! Great move by John Tennant. Bangor by 10. Late second quarter action. Jason Eastman down low, he's fouled. It'll be on Tennant. Boy, you can't say enough about the way John Tennant's played in this first half. Played Coming off an illness. Played exceptionally well. He's given them both uh, offensively and defensively. But here, just being able to take the ball full length of the court and exploding up for the layup. Coney, last couple of possession, has gotten away from what's gotten them there, trying to go a little bit too much one-on-one. -on -one. Tennant will get a big hand coming out with 36 seconds to go in the quarter. Eric Murray, the 5'10 junior, into the game. For Roger Reed's Bangor Rams. Eastman's free throw, no good. Mark Reed clears it. Reed up toward midcourt. Brings it in, shuts down. He'll fire, and that won't go. Reed gets his own rebound. 24 seconds to go, second quarter. Reed tries to split a double team. A foul will be called, and it'll be on Eastman. Second foul of the game on Jason Eastman. 23 seconds left, second quarter. Bangor 33, Coney 23. Gary Veyu not happy. Tough second quarter for his club, but they showed clearly in the first quarter, Dick Meter, that they can play with Bangor. There's no question about it, and you know, the Bangor got a tough draw with Coney. Coney is capable of really playing well at times, and you catch him on the right night, they are very good. Mark Reed got the first one. Second one's up, and that's good. Bangor by a dozen. 35, 23. 18 seconds to go, second quarter. Kip Keeling defensively on Eastman. Eastman to the basket, throws it in the lane, knocked away in a steal. Eric Murray came up with it, and Reed takes over. Five seconds to go in the quarter. Reed wants to get free. Uses a pick by Heaston to the baseline. He'll fire off the rim and won't go. The fall by Murray too late, and that's it for the first half. Roger Reed's team with a real strong second quarter. They're up by 12 at halftime, 35 to 23. Coming back to the Bangor Auditorium with Tim Frockport right after this. Welcome back to the Bangor Auditorium. Halftime here as uh, Bangor and Coney playing. That means uh, Dad comes out to watch uh, the kid play. Rudy Keeling's here watching Kip and much more. What's it like coming down here watching your kid? It's different than coaching. You're nervous in a different way, I would think. Yeah, I think I think it's a little bit different. It's, it's a lot more fun. The pressure isn't on me. It's on him a little bit. But, you know, we want him to do well. And so there's a little bit of pressure. Uh, it's nice to be able to come and watch him. I haven't seen him play this year because they either play the same time we do or we can't go and recruit or something like that. So, you know, it's nice to just get out and watch them play. Is that is that difficult or is, is it kind of nice a nice thing for you to do be able to go watch a game? I mean, you, you hardly ever get a chance to relax and watch a game. Yeah, I think it's nice. We, we don't get to do it as much as I would like. And just to come to high school basketball games and watch the enthusiasm of the crowd, watch the kids play because it's fun, not so much pressure and that. And it, it just it, it takes a a lot of the stress off of me and uh, it just becomes fun again. Is that rule changing Rudy? Do I understand that to be right that 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 rule that you can go watch your son or daughter play as a coach or, or is that they, not changed? They just changed that just, rule. Just yeah, changed. so now I can see them play. It's the end of the year. Right, know? exactly. <laughs> exactly. What's uh, what's up for you next? Uh, it lost last night and I guess still fifth place in the yeah. uh, in the conference. Um, how does that stead you? Well, we play tomorrow against uh, Drexel who's the number one team. And uh, then we play on Wednesday against uh, New Hampshire. And then we start our tournament next Saturday. So, you know, we're the only team that, that has beaten Drexel. So we feel pretty confident about that. And if we can get a 
win there and maybe sit, uh, Wednesday get on a little roll. Hopefully we can do something in the tournament. Would it look like Hartford in the tournament? In the yeah, first? I think we're going to play Hartford. And uh, that's not a know. great draw, though, is no, it? No, it's not. Uh, Vin Baker's an awfully good player, and you know we haven't had much success success against them. But you know we've got to go play somebody. So we you know we want to go play, and I think that the guys played better than they have last night. Your recruiting season done? Uh, no, we, we're just starting up again. You have one more spot to fill, or any more spots to fill for this coming year? Uh, we got one more, one more scholarship, and uh, you know we're down here looking. Good, yeah. good. Rudy, thanks very much. Best of luck in the uh, playoffs and and such, and down the stretch run here. Thank you. Okay, Rudy Keeling, University of Maine men's basketball coach, and also father of Kip Keeling here tonight, uh, this afternoon at the Bangor Auditorium floor. Halftime will continue when we come back to the auditorium after this 90-second break. Marshall Frankel, prominent Bangor politician here watching his hometown team. That's Paul Susie in front of him, the former Brewer girls coach uh, called at Bangor High School. He's an assistant principal now, too. 35-23, Bangor by a dozen over Coney at halftime. And Dick Meter, a uh, field goal and free throw percentage, and turnovers and rebounds. Yeah. Both teams have struggled from the foul line. Uh, Coney shooting only 28%. Bangor 50 percent and that's not like either team uh, from the field uh, from the floor both teams shooting a little bit better and, and closer to their their normal game uh, as far as tone uh, turnovers uh, Coney again had a little bit of trouble down low uh, leading the scorers for Coney uh, you have Ryan Goodwin with 10 points Travis uh, Jakes with three three pointers Coney only had five points in that second quarter for the Bangor Rams. Uh, John Tennant has 10 points, playing very well, coming off an illness. Dean Heatstedt has 11, and Mark Reed, although he struggled from the foul line, is shooting uh, from the floor. He's got nine. John Tennant will take the ball up to midcourt to start the third quarter. Tennant recovering from mononucleosis. Number 34, he's wearing a flak jacket to protect uh, internal organs. When you have mono, they, they like to have athletes do that coming back. Inside to Reed, he'll score. Reed posted up and scored to put Bangor up by 14. Bangor did a nice area, uh, nice thing of clearing that whole uh, area below the foul line and just put Mark Reed in there and got him the ball. Travis Jakes moves it back up to Brad Bayou. Down inside for Goodwin. Bothered by Easton. Goodwin used the dribble. Now Jakes tries to get free. Palmer low. Bothered by Reed. Stewart down low for Goodwin. In traffic, he'll put it off the hook of the backboard. No good. Gets it back. One dribble up strong. That won't go, and Easton clears for Bangor. Just underway in the third quarter. Bangor up by 14, looking for a date with Lawrence on Friday night in the semifinal round. Chris Pickering finds Reed, loops it into Pickering. Oh, and the baseline, the reverse layup, no good, out of bounds. Tony Ball. You see, uh, Bangar came out of the halftime trying to post out Mark Reed, who has about four inches of height on uh, Brad Bailey, and was successful in doing it. Todd Pummerlow, good one, baseline move, gets it. Ryan Goodwin makes it 37-25, Bang. A little more pressure being exerted by Coney defensively as Reed was met back for by Bayou, but Bang was able to set it up. 6-14 left, third quarter action. The high post, Ryan Bradford trying to hand it off. It's knocked away, though, on a steal by Stewart. Bounce pass ahead along the baseline. Lost out of bounds by Todd Harmerlow. And it's Bangor ball. Todd Harmerlow, to senior, 5'10". Need to pick those balls up and then go with them. Todd was trying to dribble it at the same time. And a lot of times you'll lose it out of bounds doing that. Reed moves, bumps, no call. Bradford hands it off to John Tennant. Tennant spins free along the sideline. He'll move to the baseline. Here's Pickering. Mark Reed now. Holds it high. Reed behind the back. Gets free. Free throw line. No good. No rebound. Goodwin. Goodwin hold it down hard. And they will move it up. 
Bangor 37, Coney 25. Third quarter action. A three-pointer by Jakes, his fourth. He had three in the first quarter. It was tight after one. Did not score in the second quarter when Bangor opened up its lead. Could be a key for Coney. Tennant lost it, recovered on the baseline. Now Easton goes up and gets fouled. And that'll go against Coney and Travis Jakes. Second foul on Jakes. After this one, we'll have Old Town and Stearns. Teams that know each other well, a girls game. Travis Drake's keeping uh, Coney in shouting distance, uh, hitting those threes, and if he can get hot like he did in the first half, it's gonna be a, a boom for him. Dean Easton, may seem obvious, Coach, but the three-pointer has really changed the game in the sense that a team that's behind can make up points just so much faster. It certainly has, and it's helped uh, clean up the post area a little bit, and it prevented a lot of the uh, fouls that would occur in two minutes also because you get, a, you get the opportunity to get three points on one shot. Stewart away with a defensive rebound for Coney, and Bayou takes over. Bangor by 10, third quarter. Bayou moves to the baseline, shoots, gets knocked down, no foul called, and John Tennant clears it. Bradford along the baseline left side, he gets fouled by Josh Stewart. 4.46 to go, third quarter, it's 38-28. Bangor up by 10, and Stewart called for his third foul. Good hesitation dribble by Ryan Bradford as he was penetrating on the left side, just held up for a second, then exploded by him. And picked up the foul. Stewart will come out, and John Russell will check back in for Coney. Bigger lineup now for Coney with Russell in there. Ryan Bradford up top. Vickering goes in the lane. Easton back out. Tennant, free throw line jumper, no good. Strong rebound by Dean Easton. Bangor will set it up again. They lead by 10 in this battle of the Rams. Bradford. Now down low, little half hook by Reed, he'll hit it. Good job of moving the ball around the perimeter and then finding Reed on the low post. Has quite an arsenal of offensive weapons. There's another look we haven't seen from Mark Reed. Along the sideline, we have a traveling call against Tony's Jakes and a turnover As back you to Bangor. The ball went from one side to the other and then from Mark Reed, just a half hook. And, uh, He's got the height advantage down in that, and they're using him low on the post a lot. Mark Reed, six foot three. Bradford with it. Pickering down low. Tennant broken up. Up here at the top of the key. Battle four. Loose on the floor. Good work by Russell as he hit the deck. A lead of Goodwin. He scores. And Tony gets two points. They earned those two. Hard work by John Russell to get that going. 40-30, our score. Bangor by 10. Reed pulls up off the rim. No good. Good one with the rebound. Bayou pushes it for Coney. Armelow tried to move. He took steps first, though, and Bangor gets it back. Uh, loose ball underneath, and nobody really stepped to it, and nobody was really getting on the floor after it, except for uh, John Russell. And Coney comes up on it and finds a uh, good one under the basket for the lay-in. 317 left third quarter. Reed posts up again. Poked away though. And a steal by Todd Palmerlow. Bayou. He'll set it up for Coney. Bangor 40. Coney 30. Russell is past Pickering. Dumps it down low on the baseline. Jakes will kick it. Get it back out in the corner, that is. He misses. And Tennant. Here's the defensive rebound for Bangor. Tennant to senior guard. Bradford holds it high now. Moves to the right side. Tries to pass in the lane. Broken up though in a steal by Coney. Jakes came up with it. And now Bayou. It's past Tennant. Almost lost it. Recovers. Back out. Pomerlo fires. He hits. A two-pointer for Todd Pomerlo. And it's 40-32. The lead is back to single digits. And Bangor will take a timeout. That last basket, Coach. Yeah, the penetration by uh, uh, Brad Bayou opens it up uh, for Todd Pomelo out front, and anytime he can make that hoop from there, you're going to open up things inside. 
Bangor by eight, back in 30 seconds. Welcome back to Bangor Auditorium. Joe Carr and Dick Meter with you. Two minutes and 20 seconds to go in the third quarter. Bangor with Coach Roger Reed leading Coney by eight. Bangor looking to defend its Eastern Maine Championship. Down low, Teddy Cutler. Shot will go and is cleared away by Russell and Coney. A little more good, physical in the third quarter. Coach. Pretty good power move and uh, good defensive play by Russell. Held his ground. Goodwin down low. Jake swatted away by Reed. Recovered though by Goodwin. 34, Bangor by six. Tennant moving on Palmerlow. Now Pickering from Bradford. Down low, strong move, Easton. Nice pass. Chris Pickering made nice penetration, great pass over the top. And got the easy layup. They're all seniors, the five Bangor players on the floor. Been together a long time, and it shows. Goodwin. Moves on Reed. Spins. Drops it down low. Russell blocked by Reed. Goodwin gets it. He'll lay it in. 42-36, Bangor. Chris Pickering with it. Easton, turnaround. No good. Knocked out of bounds. Coney ball. And Coney Rams with a chance to get closer. They're down by six at 42-36 in the final minute of the third quarter. Brad Bayou bring it up for Coney. Down low for Russell off the glass. He scores. Set play. They got Russell free with a pick, Coach. And it's a four-point game. John Russell has great hands for a big guy. and He's made two or three nice catches so far in this game. And he, again, he moves very well for big guy. Bradford up strong. He gets two back for Bangor. Big move by Ryan Bradford. And it's 44-38. Nice job on a low post, getting John Russell up into the air, then stepping through and making the layup. Russell guarded by Pickering. It's off Bradford's hand, and Bayou can't save it in. Coney turns it over. They've used a number of different people in the low post, and now they put Ryan Bradford in there. Again, does a nice job, pump fake. Takes that shot, jumper, and scores. Ten seconds to go in the quarter. There's contact. He'll call it against Bangor. Mark Reed will be called for the player control foul. With nine seconds to go in the quarter, and Bangor up by six. That's the first foul of the game on Mark Reed. One of the problems when you come down, and once you, you know, you cross over and put that elbow out, you're susceptible to getting that foul called. Goodwin scores with two seconds to go in the quarter, and that'll do it. A strong third quarter for Gary Vayu's Coney Rams. They've cut the Bangor lead to four, 44-40 after three. Back in a minute. Coney outscored Bangor 17-9 in the third quarter, and they've cut the lead to four. Almost cut to one, but Vayu's three-pointer wouldn't go. It's still Coney ball. What was the difference for Coney in the third quarter, Coach? Well, they did a much better job defensively down here, and I think uh, a little bit sometimes when you're, like Bangor, trying to go into specific matchups and you get away from doing what you did well earlier, and I think that's hurt them a little bit, and plus they've gotten the ball inside down here. Goodwin scores his 21st and 22nd points of the game to make it 44-42. Bangor up by just two points. Inside, John Tennant back out to Pickering, now Bradford. Bangor seniors again on the floor inside. They'll go to Pickering, spins along the baseline for Bradford in the lane, off the glass. He got it. Tough hoop by Ryan Bradford. And Bangor up by four. Here's Russell outside. Goodwin. And now Veyu. Veyu. Back out to Russell, a three, he got it! Six foot eight, John Russell buries it from outside the line, and it's 46-45. And Joe, since John Russell has come in, it's turned the game around also. Done a nice job defensively, and then has uh, scored some hopes and created some. Foul will be called uh, against Tony. Mentioned that Bangor's five players on the floor are all seniors. The same is true for the 
the five Coney players on the floor, so all ten players right now are seniors. As we mentioned, John Russell's got great hands. And again, with his size out there, good bend of the knees, and it's just a flick, and uh, he stuck that three, and that was a big shot. Bangor up one. Bradford to the hoop and one. And a foul will be called. A spectacular block by Ryan Goodwin, but there was contact, and the foul will be called. Well, that brought the Coney fans to their feet. That'll be the third foul on Again, John he gets Russell. away away from Russell, but Ryan Bragg is coming. Uh, Ryan Goodwin's coming from the uh, the same side, and just gets up in the end, takes that away. Russell was called for the foul before the shot by Bradford, or before the block by Goodwin, actually, during Bradford's shot. So Bradford is at the line, and he misses. Bangor 46, Coney 45. Fourth quarter, six minutes, 35 seconds. Bradford shots up and good. Bangor by two. The two versus seven matchup in Class A. Everybody said coming in, though, it was not a typical 2-7 by any means. It's a tough draw for the higher-rated Bangor Rams, and that's proven to be true. Goodwin to the basket. Partially blocked or half by 10, and he missed the shot. It's a way to Ryan Bradford. Tennant, Easton now at the right side. Down low, Bradford. He's blocked, and the foul will be called against Cody. If you're Roger Reed or a Bangor fan, you've got to like the way Ryan Bradford wants the ball, and he wants to go to the basket with it in this tight situation. Bangor's done an interesting thing. They've uh, been posting to the height advantage. Now they're posting to the quickness advantage. Uh, they had Mark Reed down there. They had John Tennant down there trying to go against Brad Veo, Jason Pomelo. Now they decided to go with a quickness down there with Ryan Bradford, and he's demanding the ball and getting to the foul line. The foul was on Travis Jakes, his third, so he's out. Stewart's back in. Bradford, no good at the line. Bangor, uncharacteristically, is uh, suffering from the foul line. Bradford's second free throw. On its way. He got it. Bangor 48. Coney 45. 6.08 to go. Fourth quarter. Brad Bayou, the senior floor general. Stewart in the lane. They've got Russell on the far side. He'll be called for traveling. Traveling the call. Against John Russell as he made the move to the hoop. And Bangor gets it back. It's tough. To, it's going to be a tough look. Here it is, over there. No, he caught it. He put the foot down. Uh, it, I think, was a quick whistle. Bickering. Easton, and now Ryan Bradford. No good. The rebound cleared by Goodwin of Coney. Brad Bayou up quickly. Reed ran into Russell. Russell gets it back. He'll try from out deep again. That won't go. And Pickering's got it for Bangor. Mark Reed to Bradford, right corner. Tennant comes off a Reed pick. Now moves it to Pickering. Pickering has it knocked away, and a foul will go against Ryan Goodwin. Coney's got to be careful of, about being too callous at the offensive end. They've heard a couple shots the last two times down, and really getting away from what they brought him up back to, uh, to where they were, the, were with that one. Shot no good by Mark Reed. Batted out of bounds. We'll have a foul in a rebounding action. And it's going against Chris Pickering. Pickering will be called for the foul with 5-11 to go in the fourth quarter. Bangor leading Coney 48-45. Brad Bayou up to midcourt with the ball. Great quarterfinal round action here at the auditorium. Stewart inside, Goodwin stripped a foul will be called on Pickering. Two quick ones on Pickering, that's his fourth. So the senior forward, Chris Pickering, in foul trouble with 5.01 to go. Brad Bayou makes the play into the low post and a good pass into Goodwin and uh, looks like they were a lot of ball. Bradford in there too, but they call Pickering for the foul. And he'll go off, Nat Clark in. Number 42 replaces Pickering. Free throw missed by Goodwin. Stays at the three-point lead. 
Bangor up 48-45. Goodwin cuts the lead to two. Ryan Goodwin's had a great game today. Old Town and Stearns coming up. A girls game. That'll be followed by Skowhegan and Madonic. And two more games tonight, the 1-8 matchups. Bangor's three. gone to their delay game. He's knocked away, a foul will be called. Oh, traveling will be called against Bangor. Good quick hands by Brad Bayou, got it free. And Bangor ends up traveling with it. 48-46, Bangor by two with 4.42 to go in the fourth quarter. Inbound pass hits Bayou. Goes free on the sideline. It'll be a foul call against Bangor's Ryan Bradford. I think that's the third foul on Ryan Bradford. Strange series of events here. Yeah, it goes off Brad Bayou and everybody's scrambling for it. The official ruled that Stewart was bumped by Bradford on the way by. Apparently the foul was out of the screen. And Coney looking for Ryan Goodwin. They miss on the pass. It goes out of bounds and Bangor gets it back. 48-46. Bangor up on top. The Bangor Rams against the Coney Rams. Bangor with the ball. Bangor 15-3 on the regular season. Those two losses, of course, to Old Town. Coney 12-6. and six. Into Tennant. Tried to deny him, and the foul will be called on Brad Bayou. Four nineteen to go in the fourth quarter. That's three fouls now on Bayou. Tried to steal a pass intended for John Tennant, couldn't do it. Contact was made, and Tennant will go to the line. Yeah, got caught, caught uh, having to chase around the screen rather than being able to beat them to the screen. Bangor will shoot the rest of the way. Only four team fouls against the Bangor Rams, though. Shot missed, and Russell clears the rebound. Bayou for Coney, looking to cut into Bangor's two-point leader, maybe even take the lead in for Goodwin, knocked away. Tenet got a hand on it, and Mark Reed will control. It's difficult to feed the post from above the foul line, and that's what uh, Coney got caught that time having to do. Bradford for Tennant. Down low for Reed. Foul will be called on Bayou. That'll be four. Two quick ones on Brad Bayou. And with just under four minutes to go in the fourth quarter, he picks up his fourth. Got Brad Bayou caught from behind. Anytime you're caught in a low post area and behind the defense, it's either going to be a, a layup or a foul. Brad got caught uh, with a foul. Brad Bayou going to the University of Maine baseball team next year on a full scholarship. Excellent baseball pitcher. Reed can't get it at the line. Follows it, poked around, and it's loose on the floor. Bradford hits the deck, can't get it, make that Clark, and it's away to Coney. Goodwin to the basket, he scores. We're tied at 48. The Coney fans are ecstatic on the far side. And we'll start over with 3.33 to go in the fourth quarter. Nat Clark to Reed. Reed to the left side, down low. Bradford fakes, kicks it back out. Bradford from the top of the key, he'll score a three-pointer. Bradford took the pass actually from Clark. And it's Bangor by three. Big basket by Ryan Bradford. 51-48, 3.06 to go. Veyu, now Stewart. Down low, deflected out of bounds by Tennant. And it will still be Coney Ball. If Ten Tennant hadn't touched it, it would be Bangor Ball. Nice job by Brad Bayou of coming up with the ball and, and penetrating and getting it to Ryan Goodwin, who's running the lane, and finishes it off. A uh, three-point try, Bayou back rims it. A deep rebound away to Bradford. 2.50 to go, 51-48. Bangor with the lead and the ball. Great quarterfinal game. Game of the day so far, Ryan Bradford. Nat Clark now. Reed. John Tennant. Easton gets free. He'll try the leader. That won't go. Easton follows his shot off the bottom of the backboard. Easton runs it down in the corner. Tennant has it now at the right sideline. 221 left. Bangor 51. Coney 48. Reed. Now Dean Easton. 
to John Tennant. Bangor will be patient now. Tennant to the baseline, back out for Bradford. Just picks up high and they just keep weaving around them. Reed now on the left side. Has a lane, he'll pull up and fire over Russell. No good, loose on the floor. Clark after it. Easton two will have a hell ball situation. Bangor ball. A credit to all these players, Dick, that hitting the floor so hard and there's so much hustle all through this game. Nat Clark did a nice job of catching the ball at the low post. Doubled, flicked the ball out, got Reed at the three-point line. I mean, Ryan Bradford, and again, catches the front rim, puts it off the backboard and in. A big play. 153 to go, fourth quarter. Bangor by three. Coney's got timeout. We'll be back in 30 seconds. Coney head coach Gary Veyu has seen his team climb back from a deep hole at halftime. They've got the lead down to three. It was tied, in fact, at 48 before Bradford hit that three-pointer a moment ago. And Roger Reed and his staff looking to get back to the Eastern Main semifinals. The winner here will get Lawrence on Friday night. Does Bangor pull it out, or do they uh, keep attacking the basket? I think that's the, the question that they had and had to decide in the uh, timeout. Pickering back in, playing with four fouls, 141 to go. Bangor up 51 to 48. Tennant to Mark Reed. 134 left. Easton. Down low for Pickering. Bangor again with its seniors on the floor. Reed takes it from Tennant at the free throw line, and Mark Reed will bring it back out. Chris Pickering, 118 left. Pickering's foul will be on Ryan Goodwin. Bangor is shooting the rest of the way. Coney is not yet. Only four team fouls on Bangor so far. It's the fourth foul on Goodwin. Again, again running out, not in a defensive stance, uh, really hurts Ryan in that situation. And uh, he was going out as Pickering was giving that little shot fake and uh, starting toward the middle. Pickering shots up and good. Clutch free throw by Chris Pickering, 52-48. Bangor, 118 left. Chris Pickering nails them both. Bangor by five. Veyu uses a pick. Kicks it off, Jake drives, throws it in the lane, he travels. Tony turns it over, down by five with 109 left. Pressure now by Coney. Bangor's solution, give the ball to Mark. He brings it over midcourt. A great ball handler, Mark Reed. There's contact, it'll go against Veyu. I think five. that's the fifth foul against Brad Veyu. Brad Veyu has fouled out a great hard-working effort by Brad Bayou in this quarterfinal game. With 58 seconds to go, he picks up his fifth personal. Brad Bayou hasn't got all the credit he de deserves over the years. He's been an excellent point guard for the Coney program. He's done a nice job of creating opportunities for other players and playing hard-nosed defense, taking the toughest guy on the other team. Brad Bayou, a senior, goes to the bench hoping his teammates can keep his career going with a minute left. Uh, and Brad Bay has got to keep pressure on and uh, just gets caught uh, trying to get in there and get too tight on Mark Reed. It's Bangor 53, Coney 48 with 58 seconds to go. Coney has called timeout. We'll be back to the Bangor Auditorium right after this. Nice crowd today, Dick. Bangor, that's a look at the Bangor side and the Coney side about equally as full. Yeah, starting to fill up the afternoon session. I think there'll be a nice crowd for it. Sturds and Old Town coming out next. They're both very well supported. In fact, I walked in with a whole bunch of Sturds fans and figured they might as well come in early and catch this game, and they've been treated because it's been an excellent game. Bangor up by five with 58 seconds left, and Mark Reed at the free throw line. Brad Vail, the next time you see him playing, will be at the University of Maine in baseball. Well, he's sure going to a great program there. Tony's had good baseball over the last few years, too. Shot won't go for Reed. He struggled at the line today, which is very unusual for Mark Reed. 
Tony down by five. Lots of time left, 51 seconds. Looking to post up Russell. Heaston is playing Russell. Up high top, Parmerlow in for Russell. Foul called on Dean Heaston. That'll be the second on Heaston, 6'2 senior. Heaston coach is the kind of guy who makes a team better, isn't he? He's really not too spectacular in and of himself, but he just does a lot of things real well. He plays within himself. He knows how to play the game and doesn't try to do things that he's not capable of doing. Russell bumped by Easton, gets the shot off. It won't go. A foul will go on Tony. It'll be on Ryan Goodwin, and that will be five on Ryan Goodwin. He will foul out with 42 seconds left. And his team down by five. Ryan Goodwin has played well today. And obviously, when you lose Veyu and Goodwin, you're losing two of your best offensive players. Ryan Goodwin, also a senior, has led Coney in offense today, has 25 points. <laughs> 42 seconds to go. In the fourth quarter, Bangor up 53-48. Another look at that foul, Coach. And yeah, again, they doubled up in Ryan Goodwin. Has struggled all year long in, uh, in his career on uh, picking up quick fouls, and that one was a uh, over the back. And again, down in this situation, anytime the shot's missed, you've got to be going to the backboard and just caught over. And a technical foul called on Tony's Josh Stewart. And the free throws made by Chris Pickering. Pickering missed the second one. He'll shoot one more. 42 seconds to go. Bangor up now by six at 54-48. After Goodwin was called for his fifth foul, joining Veyu and fouling out. A technical win against Tony. First Pickering had the shots from the original foul against Goodwin, then the technical shots. So he makes three out of four, and it's 56-48, an eight-point lead for the Bangor Rams, and Gary Veyu trying to get timeout, he will. 42 seconds to go, Bangor's up eight. We'll be back right after this. Roger Reed talking it over with his Bangor Ram team. With 42 seconds to go, Bangor has the ball and an eight-point lead. Gary Veyu pleading his case with the officials, but uh, to no avail. I think trying to find out what happened. Nobody seemed to know, except that there was a technical foul call. Ryan Bradford inbounds to Reed. 40 seconds left. Reed, a little contact there. The foul will go against John Gaysink. That'll be his second. Gaysink is junior. Tony, a very much a veteran team. Veyu, Stewart, Parmerlow, Goodwin, Jakes, and Russell, all seniors. They lose a lot this year. Cliff Chase and John Martin, also seniors. Another John Martin from Augusta. J-O-N in this case, though. Reeves, free throws good. 57-48. As his father, the coach looks on. I think Roger Reed is probably hoping that this is the bad game that they will have played in the tournament. That uh, you know that the, if you're going to win, you've got to get through it playing probably one bad game, and this may be it. And things look better. Knocked away by Pickering, a lead to Tennant from Reed, saved in by Tennant. Pickering goes to Bradford. Now Reed back across to Pickering. 22 seconds to go. Bangor by nine. Chris Pickering quickly into the corner. Tennant back out to Pickering. Bradford reads free at midcourt. Pickering, 10 seconds to go. Bangor will play on Friday against Lawrence. Bradford up high, pass is stolen. Cliff Chase, the senior, pulls up. He'll fire a three at the buzzer, no good. And that'll do it, a hard fought win for the Bangor Rams, 57 to 48. Give Tony credit. They really fought back after trailing at halftime. Had a real strong third quarter. It was close most of the way. In fact, tied at one point in the fourth quarter, but Bangor were able to pull away a bit at the end. The Coney team, though, coached with uh, 
plenty to be proud of with the way they play tonight. They certainly have. 57 to 48, the final score. Bangor wins it by nine. We'll be back to the Bangor Auditorium in two minutes.